and fall in my fellow scout trippers to an NTW 3 4v4 battle replay today. On the one team we have Nate Devourer, Philip, Gordet, and Andrew Bolkonski. On the other team we have Kesta, Ogil, and Tonov and Sniper. The map today is 1800 Miskitch. Or Miskitch. Probably pronouncing that wrong. Apologies. If you guys want to see your own total replay feature here on this channel, you can send your replay to my email at scoutsandentertainment at gmail.com. You can post it to me directly on Discord. You can join my Discord service Scouts Reconnaissance, be part of our community, and post your replay there. Or you can simply tag me and replay your post on the NTW3 Lords Discord as well. And with that, let's go through the red team since we can't really see the blue team. We have here Sente Susan Renji, so it's commander based French army, it would seem. We have the Holy Roman Empire, the Hell Just Roman Strike. There's still Saint there. We got Maru. Still, it could be two Maru Rin armies. Over here we have the Curb, the Rind. This uh, building that's all I can see the there. Alright, oh, no, we have here Guvodian Saint. Okay, there we go. Now, we've got a few points on the field, it would seem. We've got a three pointer in the center. And a two-pointer to the east. And that's all I can really see in terms of points. Not be a two-pointer to the west, but there's so many blue units covering that area. I just can't see it. Now, the map today is a little bit interesting. We've got a few trees here and there. That's going to make cavalry warfare a little bit tricky. But there are places for them to engage, like this clearing, for example. These buildings also make it a bit challenging. The vegetation does make it difficult, actually, for a cavalry strike. So I am looking forward to seeing how the players handle this. I mean, cavalry warfare would have to have to be here. Let's just have a look at the different cav sites. I reckon there and here is looking pretty good as well, just outside the town or either side of the city or village, and over here as well. These appear to be the four points that we should see cavalry contact. Infantry, or infantry of course can fight anywhere. Artillery also going to be very tricky. Teams will want to try and find the highest point to place their artillery where they can reach their enemy and fire of course. Up here is looking pretty good for long range artillery. I mean it can cover most of the valley below it. Can't do anything about the buildings of course but you know. For the French side also a little bit challenging. This mound here is a good target for artillery. Can hit most of the Roman Empire's army at least. And target most of the units above the hill. And so we got artillery firing already. And French and the Roman Empire getting pretty close to each other. And a little bit surprised that um, the Roman Empire feels a bit uh, confident he can take on France alone. Usually when the Roman Empire takes on France one-on-one, -on -one, it's usually a one-sided fight. France obviously does better in a prolonged shootout. The Roman Empire relies on its numbers to overwhelm its opponent usually. But France has quality on their side to handle that. Now France did, did get debuff from 9.0. This is a 9.0 replay. I'm going to try and get all my 9.0 replays done before I migrate to 9.1. So don't worry guys, I'll work uh, as long as I can to get through these replays very quickly. I am off site for the week, so I have plenty of time to catch up on some replays. And um, I'll try and do my best, you know, at least two recordings a day while I'm here. You know, we've got artillery moving up, way ahead of the army. A fast cast strike could take it out. There is some cavalry next to it, but um, again, a unit that can go C8, C9, should be able to get to it long before this unit covers it. I mean, this is heavy a cavalry after all, C3 is relatively slow. We've got skirmishes here, but they're behind the artillery. So, this player might be thinking about a cav strike. And so you should, I mean, it's a tempting target. Again, heavy cav. Looks like, yeah, it looks like an artillery hit. Just at the base of the mound. Well, 
we've got an engagement here to the east. All my attention was focused on this point. I figured this is where we see the first engagement. It looks like it could be a, it could be a, an all Roman Empire affair versus an all French alliance. Okay, France here. He's tried to surround the Roman Empire. Roman Empire has tried to escape his little trap. France might force the engagement. They're definitely trying. But the Roman Empire's having none of it. They they're bugging out. They're regrouping. Okay. Teams are getting really close to each other. And both should have a good line of sight on the other. The terrain shouldn't come into it. Shouldn't protect either side here in this fight. Everyone's accuracy isn't that great. Dude, all, this, all this musket fire. I only got a handful of troops fall. But it's enough to actually push the Roman Empire back a bit. He's seeking the safety of the crest. Come on, there's no way he can shoot through solid dirt. What are they thinking? Royal Empire is sitting the high ground. Dirt is certainly getting pounded in this one. Over here though, this is flesh on flesh. No terrain there hindering either side. Looks like we get a bayonet charge, they're trying to take the building. Alright, so we've got some other fights brewing in the center. has won the cab engagement. He's got to, yeah, he's got to pull back the pursuit. Jeez, these guys here were getting a bit antsy. They still are getting a bit antsy next to the cab. Jeez. Lucky not to lose them. All right, things are quieting down here. It's funny. Out of four teams, we only have one player on each team really going at it. Run Empire trying to use his superior numbers. Can this unit form square? No, they can't. Okay, Francis trying to reform his lines. His center was a little bit shaky. Seems to have rebalanced. Okay, our first enemy general has fallen. This belongs to Gorde. Where did he fall? Ah, uh, artillery strike. Ah, uh, that bites. Lucky hit. Well, it was. Well, he definitely needs allied support. Now that his general's gone, he's a liability. Now, 
France is putting a lot of pressure here, a lot of resources into this flanking strike. And we've got cap at least three infantry divisions. All bunched up. We've got one unit forming pike. French infantry not charging into it. They potentially could charge from this direction. Possibly begin a, a domino mass chain route. This unit over here, the champagne, a little bit slow to reform. And a big gamble from both teams to fight here. Either unit breaks, they aren't coming back. Are running, sir. Uh, France might be trying to fall back, but I don't know. Oh, oh, no, they, they're still in it. They're still with us. Jeez, they went right to the edge. Oh, this close. charging the cavalry. start turning the scales over here and it's gone the Holy Roman Empire's way Calvary to the rescue though this unit should be reforming right now turning around to fire I mean the cavalry has bought them some time to do that but they're continuing to fall back for some reason that is a mistake you should have turned around right then and there it would have taken time to fire sure but the cavalry was buying them that time what's he doing falling back all the way here Talk about pulling you back to get back against the wall, literally. This is two on five. Are these guys here just buying time or something? I don't know. He's placing a lot of faith in these two units to hold the fort. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest. We've got some skirmishes here coming to the rescue. We got a crap ton of reinforcements coming in. Not so for the French side. He either reforms and makes a decent counter attack or he's gone. I kind of like the, what the French player is doing. I mean, if you look at all the reinforcements, it's not like they can actually push forward and try to overwhelm the French. They're not trying to strengthen or lengthen the firing line. They're just sort of standing behind friendly forces. It's basically can't really do much at the end of the day. We've still got one team against one player against one player at the moment. He's not they're not using their numbers to their advantage here. This actually helps the French player stay in the fight and potentially win his battle against one of the Roman Empire players at least. I think he's very fortunate. But this gamble here from the Roman Empire team. The fact that they're not using their numbers means that the French team, who have spread themselves out more across this map, can possibly outnumber the other players. We've got at least two Roman Empire players over here that are seemingly detached from one another. This could enable the French team to use their numbers to overwhelm these players here and then come to the aid of their other two teammates, assuming they still are alive at this stage. It's looking good, I mean, who we got here? We've got uh, Saint Suzanne. He should survive long enough until Morua arrives. Morua's almost there. No, 
Nice shot. What the hell hit them? That looks like a canister shot. Alright, looks like one player's taking a break while the other one takes his place. With fresh troops. Now, this other French player is moving back towards the crest of the hill. Get himself into position, use the high ground to his, his best advantage. Surprised the French, the Roman Empire team could disappear so close to the French. I mean, they're in range of the units. He must have turned off fire at will. Oh, they're appeared now. French here vastly outnumbered their foe. They've got to press hard here. If the French press really hard right now, then Roman Empire might struggle to form up their firing lines and repel the French. Because right now they're really stacked up. They haven't spread themselves out at all. It'll take time to bring units from this area here over here. Now another Roman Empire is retreating. But all the French need to do here to counter the artillery on the hill is attack this area in force, push the Roman Empire up, use their friendly troops as cover, use their own men as cover against the artillery to get close enough to take it out. Your French cavalry nipping at the heels here of these retreating forces. No, oh, Roman Empire cab moving around. These appear to be the big boys, they got armor. Trying to lumber up. No, he's unlumbered the artillery. Too high. Oh, this close. You don't think it'd miss again, would you? To the firing hat. There he goes. They got about 20 seconds to take out that artillery before the next shot. This unit here should be bayonet charging that artillery. While this unit tries to provide some covering fire, you know? This unit charges, this unit fires at these ones here to try and keep them busy. Provide an opening for this unit to get to the artillery and take it out. And while this unit's causing chaos in the ranks, this one can move forward. Getting close, take out this one. This one will be a break of force back. And then slowly the French sort of encroaches on the Roman Empire's turf. And then just sort of folds them up all the way to the village here. And that should cause the whole Roman Empire to retreat further up the hill. Uh, we've got the French here coming through the town here, trying to outflank their opponents. He's running. Yeah, he's running. He's trying to get there quickly. 
You better be careful, he's gonna get outflanked himself. Ah, uh, he's covered. These guys here. Yeah. They got the guys in the village covered. They're not in danger. Meanwhile, the Roman Empire is not abandoning the forest. We've got French skirmishes here, taking over. Our close range fight aren't really their thing. They're running, They're trying to get out of there. We've got support coming in. is retaking their positions. France does have about four units. And these two as well. I mean, if I was Saint Suzanne, I would actually mount the strike at this point. This would be the place I'd hit. With my teammate providing... I'm putting a lot of pressure on, Roman, on the Roman Empire's flank over here. If we can push through, if we can force them back here, then that's just send these two players into a panic. It'll basically compress their territory and they'll be forced back to the red line even. And the French are already taking steps to sort of encircle them, deny them any hope of escape. But I think. I think if they want to strike, if they want to strike the death blow now, then yeah, they, this is where I think they have to hit. Right here. Right, let's go and have a look at the other battles now. Well, they're starting to pick up in pace, at least over here in the center. On the right flank, you might as well see tumbleweeds flying everywhere. It's really quiet over there. Given all these troops, I'm half wondering if the Roman Empire... We have two Roman Empire armies here. It's looking like we do. We've got here Le Coup. Sending over a majority of his force, at least half his army, he's dividing it into half. Sending half over here, the other one's shattering this group of Roman troops. We got. Is that three in skirmishes or two? It must be two. Okay, I'm lucky not to lose too many horses there, got in pretty close. Okay, with the exception of one unit on the right flank. Only one can form square. Cav strike here on this skirmish unit should be enough to get amongst the French ranks and cause chaos. It's worth a shot. Run Empire has the troops in place to take advantage of such chaos that that cav strike could create. I'm wondering if he's getting into position now to do that. 
I want to go back to the other battle to the west because things seem to be really heating up over there. Just waiting to see what this guy does. Okay, he's not doing it. Alright. We'll keep an eye on that battle just in case. These three units seem to be taking a vacation. I mean, send them in. What are they waiting for? Honestly, it just feels like we're owned by a sort of dying a very slow, painful death. They're gonna bust out of this trap somehow. So they're gone. sort of allow himself to get outflanked. We've got some cap support moving up in the rear, but they ain't gonna solve this problem. He's outnumbered. He's being shot at from all sides, and he's still holding his position with two units. He's trying to bust out. He's going for the charge. He goes up on the square. Guys got blasted off their horses there. You stab one, kill the other one with his hooves. It's five on two. Here. Five on three potential. We got Cav. Yes, we do. We got French Cav moving up. Yeah, got an important battle here. Playing out. Could spell trouble for either flank of the Roman Empire. But should this unit fall and the gap open up, we've got another cab unit standing by to send in to try and hold that area. But the French has infantry here to hold this area and repel that cab as well, so... Alright, they're through. I think if they want this plan to succeed, they, got one of these, they need one of these scrabble units to march forward, place themselves here, while the cab moves in on either side to harass the Roman Empire infantry. That way if the cab charges in, the square can shoot the cab. Provide some cover. Potentially weaken the morale of the cab unit, break it, keeping their own cab alive and well, for the most part. Some weird moves here from the French. They have the ability to outflank their opponent. There are gaps for them to press into. 
and then widen, compressing their opponent on either side, but they're just not targeting those gaps for some reason. In fact, playing these shootouts with the Roman Empire seems to be keeping the Roman Empire in the game. Promising sign here for the French. Could this be the catalyst we were after? The French needed a break. They needed an England road something. The Roman Empire is trying to close the gaps and force the French back. should send in two or three units to hold these guys at base and the other three to outflank the Roman Empire line here. You know, you've got numbers, you can outmaneuver your enemy. Take advantage of it. Get in there, do it. Now that unit there can form square. So we've got a victory here for the Roman Empire. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must pray. Philip, Philip the Sausage General. Right. So we're going to be overwhelmed somehow. on his own. That's a big ass square, ain't it? Shoot. He's kind of abandoning the square. Very good. So what the Kerb needs to do here, obviously, set up his firing line, set up his perimeter, put a rear, put about two or three units as a rear guard on the line, preferably squareables, so the rest of his infantry can focus on the Roman Empire's armies as they come towards him. I mean, if he wants to inflict max, maximum casualties on his enemy, he's got to set up, he's got to be prepared before the fight begins. He can't afford to be caught with his pants down, trying to get himself organized. Good idea of running a unit, just stand around. Oh, this is a general unit. He's still alive. have compressed the Roman Empire into pretty break. much extinction over here. This is like the third or fourth Roman Empire general before me. France is obviously just confident they could wear them down. To the point them around with this break. Taking out the generals really helped as well. But the French players had confidence in their, in their units to outlast the Roman Empire. As I said, I thought the French victory here was never in doubt. I just think they could have won it easier. But that's in hindsight, of course. Heat of the moment. Again, you can't see the things you want to see sometimes when you're re looking at it. I see it all the time when I make mistakes, and I make a lot of them, so you know. Just because I criticize doesn't mean, you know, I'm squeaky clean. You can criticize me probably till the cows come home. And that's fair.
Now go down here. Come turn your homies around. Try and save your teammate. It's a, it's a long haul. I don't know if Lakung can survive this long. Lakun's mission here shouldn't be to achieve victory. It should be to try and kill as many of his enemy as he can. Now, he's got his lines mostly set up. He's a little bit disorganized over here, though. This ain't the time to be walking. This is the time to be running. Yeah, don't fire, yes. Don't fire, yeah. Good. Some really good kills. We did manage to get into Lakuma's force before he was ready. He's gotta, they gotta be able to, they gotta try and kill this guy as quickly as possible without losing too many of their own troops. Well, they're off to a good start. They gotta keep the pressure on. They need cav over here. They got it, but they also got, they got, got to get through the French cav first as well. Got the skirmishers here, just trying to keep the enemy cav at bay. Once again, the French hold the high ground. Grouping for now. There is one road in the center that one of the French players at least is using to get his army to his allies as quickly as possible. The road takes him right here. But again, that's a long march, too long. He needs to be redeployed elsewhere. He's got a building in front of him. He can't shoot shit. I say this is the one area where the French have superiority in numbers and potentially quality, but then these four other units appear, but they appear to be you know, diminished somewhat. They don't look like they're at full strength at all. There's these units, of course, do seem to be at full strength. Solid over here. I don't see this flank falling anytime soon. No many how many how many units are running by seems to have. Our men are running sir. The French line here looks really good. Yeah, so we had some French cab trying to come to the rescue, but they were broken. French cab is harassing an empire. That's actually they seem to have lost. Yeah, okay, they lost. More than half is still alive. 
They're gonna be pursued to the red line. Or not, no, that, he gave up. I'm guessing he thinks he can... Well, they lost the cover here. I don't know, got another cab unit here. Heavy cab. We've taken the building, sir. Rampart's ranks were pretty thin compared to the French. Look at the end of the French player here, he chose where to fight well. Not only is he holding his ground, he appears to be winning. The run in players, players can't seem to get around him. And going toe to toe clearly isn't working, but they've already lost so many men. Don't even have the strength for that maneuver. All their forces would break if they tried. Okay, he's getting close over here. Okay, one unit can form square. coming in through the town. Odd place for a cab strike. The building here is really slowing them down. Forcing them into a bottom. But they got through it. And they're behind enemy lines. They're going after the French general. They got a clear shot at him, right? He's trying to get out of there, but where can he really go? He's walking? That's fine. Okay, he's running now. Okay. Instead of charging the French general and killing him, he's going to charge into the French infantry. Again, you can't say it's a bad plan. I mean, he broke the unit, he's about to break a second unit. And now that French, now that cab unit can turn around and take out the French general as well. I mean, it works out well for him. Oh no, we've got some French reinforcements coming in. This is a heavy cab we saw earlier. Well, we got a crap ton of Roman Empire cab coming in now as well. Jeez, isn't that a sight, man? Cab just broke. So Kulm is doing solid here. And a nice counter attack has turned the tables on their heads. The Kulm was looking strong, secure. But the Roman Empire just smashed through his ranks. This building sent has him fallen to the enemy. Almost. Can't say it's over just yet.
position here needs to be brought to the fight. This possibly doesn't know he has it. He's forgotten about it. I've forgotten about a couple of units sometimes myself. Turn around fire guys, turn around and fire. players are starting to arrive. Wow. Well, things started to go wrong the moment the Austrians just ran through his lines. They didn't, they didn't break through, they didn't smash through. They literally found the gap in the lines and it ran through it unopposed. That's what started the whole chain reaction. We didn't see any attempt from the French to close that loophole or try and take out that cap. It was a bold move and it, played, and it paid off big time for him. You know, if the French have any green ideas, they're going to send them to these buildings. It's not going to be easy to take that one. It's like a fortress. Too eager for the fight, guys. So we've got Maru and Saint. Units all over the place right here. These players have got to be careful, don't trip over themselves. It's hard enough as it is sometimes trying to form a line, but you've got to try to form a line now with, out with your teammate, with your own teammate's units sort of sporadically spaced with your own all over the place. It's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle, and they've got to sort this puzzle out quick before they engage. Having a shootout with a fortress just doesn't make sense. That's not a winning fight. Okay, we've got a couple of units here that have reformed coming back to the fight. And that's Sukuma's general in here. He's still alive. Don't know why he's doing so far from the battle, but hopefully he turns around and gets back here soon. We've got a few units here that need to be brought back in as well. well send them in. Send the general in. Re your guys have reformed. Gather yourself up, Lakum, and get ready to move in on the rear of your opponent. Once your allies engage him, move in on the other side, sandwich them together, end it there. What's a little bit frustrating to see is I don't see the Kun making these moves. He's just sort of sitting there, here, right? And it's just frustrating in the sense that it'll take time to do that. You know, he's got to march his troops into position. It's going to take at least five minutes. And there's only ten minutes left in this battle. Moving into the building now. Yeah. Is there two doors or one? No, it's only one door. Well, there's almost no men guarding. going after here. We've got three 
Well, they'll buy units here. Just buy the themselves. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. The morale's not good at all. We've got one unit here just standing around. Well, Sane's busy. He's got his mind over here, probably. It looks like the Kuhn's got three in his hand to destroy those other guys in the village. I don't think he needs three. I mean, look at the morale. He only needs one. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Okay, that was Andridi Volkonsky's general. It was a suicide play, but it worked. Time to press the right flank here of this French force. About four units here from the right moves towards the Roman Empire units. Already starting to break before him. That way he can start rotating running, towards the remaining Roman Empire forces in the area. Get more guns pointed at the last, at the surviving units. French will be able to destroy all the Roman Empire in the time they have left. I mean, the French will pursue and destroy as they go, but if the players keep the Roman players keep falling back, yeah, we're going to go to. Zero, zero. It's going to be a draw, but obviously the victory does go to the French. They've conquered all. The, they've conquered all the territory, and they've reduced the enemy units to basically nothing. And they control most of the buildings, including the three pointer that we know about. And we got the Coolers back. He's moved in to cut off the enemy's retreat. Why is he moving up? Why is he moving away for? Move up. Don't move back. Where are you going? This is the time to press, not run away. I mean, his line's really good. He's got two squareables spaced evenly. Providing good protection on the line. Three minutes, 45 seconds. Move the cab in against the French infantry. They can form a square too, but did they? Yeah, they did. Well, they didn't get upset. Cab charging in, 
France won the square. battle so far. It was a hard fought victory. It went to and fro. At the time I thought this battle was going to be one sided. Shoot him. Uh, we got a bayonet charge. Okay, all the units here, they're done. The rest will probably survive until the very end. And we got a draw, but congratulations to the French. And this is a little unusual. I got no stats here, no flags. I wonder what happened. Okay, so we got uh, kill counts here ranging from 208 down to zip. Four units getting over 100, one unit getting over 200. Seriously, that is really unusual. Usually we always see the flags at the end. Yeah, there's no issues with the game. Everything seemed to be kosher. Still, well done to the French on their victory today. Very weird, I didn't see the flags there at the end. But it is what it is. At least we can see the unit kill counts, eh? The trail is here. The skirmishes, 208. The skirmishes did exceptionally well. Alrighty, if you guys want to see your own replay, replay feature here on the channel once again, you can send it to my email at scoutsofentertainment at gmail.com. You can post it to me directly on Discord. You can join my Discord server, Scouts Reconnaissance, be part of our community, and post your replay there. Or you can, or you can tab me on the NW3 Boards Discord as well. This is Mika from Scouts of Entertainment signing off. Goodbye, my fellow Scout Troopers. Catch you in the next Total War Battle.